is Democratic New Jersey Congressman Tom Malinowski. He is a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee. Congressman, thanks so much for being with us right now. Uh, what Clarissa just saw there on the streets outside the airport, it is um, symbolic, more than symbolic. It's what's happening. It shows right now to an extent the futility of the U.S. effort there. So here, here's the problem. We control the airport, at least in part. The Taliban controls everything else. President Biden has said, rightly so, that we are going to take these people out, American citizens first, but also our Afghan allies and a wide range of Afghans who are at risk of being targeted by the Taliban. We need to operationalize that. That means, number one, getting full control of the airport, control of the perimeter, which is difficult but necessary so that we can decide who comes in, and to make absolutely clear that we are going to stay at that airport, hold that ground, until that mission is complete. And we have not yet heard that from the administration. No, we haven't. In fact, you wrote a letter with a bipartisan group of members of Congress saying, stay as long as you need to with as many troops as you need to to get everyone out. My impression from what I've heard from American officials, top U.S. officials here on this show and otherwise, is that the end date is August 31st. So before Kabul fell, President Biden set August 31st as the end date. And, you know, the Pentagon... They follow orders. They take things literally. That is the only order they've gotten. Until that's countermanded, until the White House says that that August 31st deadline doesn't apply to the evacuation, then I do worry that that's the schedule that the Pentagon is operating on. And there's no way humanly possible that you can keep our promise, the promise that the president has made by August 31st. What happens to those thousands, if not tens of thousands of people if the United States does leave on August 31st? Well, I'm, I'm going to trust that we're not going to do that because the president has said very clearly in that speech he gave a couple of days ago, we're going to take these people out. We're not going to leave them behind. And I think that is the key to being able to leave with honor. And it's key to our national interest because we don't want to leave the message out there that we leave people behind. But can't do it by August 31st. We can't do it, no. I mean, just, just we, we've lost two or three days anyway just with the chaos at the gate. We have people who have onward flights, who have been turned back. We have people who don't have flights, but they're on our list. And they've been told, go back to Kabul and, and wait. That's not, that's not acceptable. We, we need to bring people in, and we need to take care of them at the airport, even if it takes several weeks. How do they get there? How do they get to the airport? Well, look, we do have some leverage with the Taliban here, too. We, we obviously need a clear message to the Taliban. Do not interfere with our troops at the airport. Do not interfere with people coming to the airport. The Taliban want us to leave as soon as possible. And I think if we tell them we ain't doing that, if you want us to leave, cooperate with this evacuation effort, do not impede it. I think that's one way to get leverage. What about, and Clarissa uh, was speaking to a young man who spoke perfect English, by the way, who had the courage to say on international television, I worked for the Americans, mm -hmm. which is brave. It just shows you how desperate he is to get out. But he also said he'd been turned back because, and it wasn't clear if he was turned back by the Taliban or by some U.S. person at the gate, because he didn't have a piece of paper. He didn't have the right piece of paper. We're going to have to be very creative here, because there are lots of people who have that piece of paper. They may have a passport. They may have a visa. They may have everything. But they may not want to bring it with them through Taliban checkpoints, because if the Taliban find that American piece of paper, they're, they're on the Taliban's list suddenly, Right. And, and so, you know, we, but we know who these folks are. We know their phone numbers. That's another way of identifying people. There may be other creative ways as we contact people to ask them to come to the airport, to give them something that isn't obvious to the Taliban, but that might allow our people at the gate to identify them. Um, that's going to take a few days just to set up that system and to get control of that gate. Another reason why there can't be a deadline. You were critical of the, the Biden administration's decision uh, to withdraw all U.S. troops. You thought there should be a remaining presence there, at, at least for some time. It happened. It's done at this point. Although now the U.S. has more troops in than we did, than the United States did a short time ago. How would you assess how the Biden administration is handling it now, in this moment? Well, I, I was critical of the Trump administration also, when they made yeah. this decision, and I urged the Biden administration not to continue that policy. Um, we are where we are. The focus right now has to be on getting people out. Um, you know, I, I, I wish we had at least stayed until, um, I, I wish we had stayed in the airport, basically, and stayed at the Bagram Air Base until at least all of our people were out. I think that would have been a better way 
to handle this. But at the same time, I think people need to understand there is no such thing as a non-chaotic evacuation. Once you start an evacuation, you're in a sense precipitating, you're signaling your expectation that the place is going to fall, and you're precipitating that. I mean, imagine if a voice came on the PA system in this building to say, there's danger in this building, we have to evacuate, but don't worry, you have six months to do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'd, we'd want to leave right away. And, and, and so at any point this started, it would have been somewhat chaotic. I just wish we had held the airfields um, and, and not left before, you know, before we got everybody out. Congressman Tom Malinowski, I, I appreciate you being with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much.